Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss the Euler's Torsion Function. Now in this particular video we will discuss the following concepts and they are Number 1. What are co-prime numbers? Number 2. How to prime factorize a number? And number 3. How to find the Euler's Torsion Function of a number? We will also discuss some few examples on this topic as well and do watch this video till the end because we have provided some practice questions at the end and you will be able to solve them only if you have watched the complete video. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now our first topic of discussion are co-prime numbers. Now two numbers are called as co-prime when there is no common factor between them except the number 1. So for example, the number A is equal to 13 and number B is equal to 17. Now you can see that both 13 and 17 are prime numbers so there is no common factor between A and B other than the number 1. So thus, if the given number does not have any common factor with the other number except the number 1, then the two numbers are called as co-prime numbers or they are also called as relatively prime numbers. Now our second topic of discussion is prime factorization of a number. Now to prime factorize a number is basically to represent the number as a product of its prime factors raised to arbitrary powers. So for example, if we have a number, let's say n, then we can prime factorize the number as a raised to the power p into b raised to the power q into c raised to the power r and so on and so forth where a, b and c are prime numbers and p, q and r are arbitrary powers and all of them are whole numbers. So for example, if we have a number, let's say 12 and we have to prime factorize this number. So what we have to do is, we just have to represent this number as a product of its prime factors raised to different powers. So you can see that 12 is equal to 2 into 6 and 2 into 6 can also be written as 2 square into 3. So thus we have prime factorized the number 12 because we have written it as a product of two different prime numbers 2 and 3 raised to different powers 2 and 1 respectively. So in this way you can prime factorize any given number and this is the fastest way in you can prime factorize the number. Now there are different methods by which you can prime factorize the number and I have made a separate video on that topic as well so you can go check that out too. Now to be more clear with this topic let's take an another example. So this time we have to prime factorize the number 50. Now 50 is equivalent to 2 into 25 and 25 is equivalent to 5 square so we can write it down as 2 into 5 square. So thus we have prime factorized the number 50 as 2 raised to the power 1 into 5 raised to the power 2. So if we have a number n then to represent the Euler's Torsion value we use the chi function and chi n gives the Euler's Torsion value of any given number. Now when we say that we have to find out the Euler's Torsion value what do we mean is we have to find out all the list of co-prime numbers of n. Now to find out the Euler's Torsion value of a number what we have to do is we have to use two simple steps. In the first step we have to prime factorize the given number. So let's say the prime factorization of the number n is a raised to p into b raised to q into c raised to r and so on and so forth. So in the second step we will simply use the formula which is as follows n into 1 minus 1 by a into 1 minus 1 by b into 1 minus 1 by c and so on and so forth where a, b and c are the prime factors of the number n and by using this simple formula we can easily calculate the oil association value of the given number. So then with all the theoretical concepts and the formula Let's solve some few examples which will provide us all the co-primes of a number less than to it. So according to our first example, we have to find out the Euler's Torsion value of the number 100. Now first we have to prime factorize the number according to our method. So 100 is equivalent to 2 square into 5 square because 2 square is equal to 4 and 5 square is 25. So 4 into 25 is equal to 100. So the prime factorization of 100 is 2 square into 5 square. So according to the formula, the oil association value chi n is equal to 100 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 5. Now we just have to calculate this value. Now 100 into 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 and 1 minus 1 by 5 is equal to 4 by 5. Now you can see that 2 and 100 will get cancelled and 50 and 5 will get cancelled. 
So we'll be left with 40. So our value of oil association number 400 is equal to 40. So there are 40 different numbers which are co-prime to 100 and less than to it. So you can see that how easy it is to find the oil association value of any given number n. Now according to our second question, we have to solve for the case of 1250, that is we have to find out the oil association value of 1250. Now you can see that 1250 can be represented as 5 to the power of 4 into 2 because 1250 is nothing but 625 into 2 and which is equal to 5 raised to the power of 4 into 2. So the prime factorized form of 1250 is equal to 2 into 5 raised to 4. Now you can see that I have written the smaller prime number in the front and the larger prime number at the back and it is the general method in which you should write the prime factorized form of any given number. Now moving back to our question, the value is equal to 1250 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 5. Now we just have to calculate this value and which is equal to 1250 into 1 by 2 into 4 by 5. Now 2 and 4 will get cancelled and we'll get 2 and 5 and 1 2 5 0 will get cancelled and we'll get 250. So we'll finally get 250 into 2 which is equal to 500. So the oil association value of 1250 is equal to 500. Now for a third example we have to solve for the number 6 factorial. Now 6 factorial can be written as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. Now 2 and 3 are the smallest prime numbers so we'll write 2 and 3 and 5 is the last prime number so we'll write 5. Now we have to check the powers of the prime numbers 2, 3 and 5. Now since 5 is appearing only once we'll get 5 to the power 1. 2 is appearing once over here, 2 times over here and 1 time over here so we'll get 2 to the power 4. And 3 is appearing twice so we'll get 3 to the power 1 over here and second power of 3 over here so we'll get 2 raised to 4 into 3 square into 5 raised to the power 1 as the final prime factorization of 6 factorial. Now although we don't require to find out the value of the powers of the prime factors, we are doing it for the sake of our practice. So we just have to put the number in the formula. So 6 factorial is equal to 720 and we have to multiply it with 1 minus half into 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 minus 1 by 5 and we'll get our final value. So it is equal to 720 into half into 2 by 3 into 4 by 5. So over here you can see that 2 and 2 will get cancelled and 3 and 720 will cancel and we'll get 240 and 240 and 5 will get cancelled and we'll left with 48. So 48 into 4 gives us value as 192. So the oil association value of 6 factorial is equal to 192. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.